Good evening, Pepper people. This is Rhett Griffin. Welcome to Grizzly Heat. It's a uh, snacking with the Grizz dessert video. Already had my supper, so um, I'm not really doing too many sweets. I've been really cutting back on all that stuff, so I'm not saying I never do, but I'm very careful and selective when and what I eat. I do like sweets. Grizzlies like sweets. So anyway, so I got this lemon bar. See, it's funny because look at it. It's crooked. Um, and I threw the packaging away because um, this was the last one. Um, I can get them at Walmart and at the Mexican grocery store. They're Mexican um, pops. There's like a strawberry and cream. That one's probably not very healthy, but this one's just lime. And um, it's kind of looks like a popsicle. Pretty good. But I have this that I got from Ink Gardener, Mike and Tammy Gardener. This is the, this, and you'll read this right. This is Latrine Queen. So you look at this stuff. They call it that because it looks like, looks like pee. So it's Latrine Queen, but it's lime tank. I did try a little bit of it. It's delicious. So anyway, um, I did just a little bit to try it. So I figured I'd do, maybe do a little bit more to uh, get a taste and then put some on this uh, on this bar. So let me see, we'll do, do about that much. Let's see, um, again, this is uh, Latrine Queen from uh, Mike and Tammy Gardner, Inc. Gardner. You can check them out on uh, Instagram and Facebook. They're making some, I mean, amazing tincture. I don't know if you guys can see, but look how clear this is. The filtering, not boozy, great flavor. They know what they're doing. They really know what they're doing. I'm excited to be a... Uh, connected with them because they grow peppers, powders, tincture, just great people. So anyway, this is Latrine Queen from Ink Gardener. I'm Rhett Griffin, Grizzly Heat. Stay spicy, pepper people. That's got a really good flavor. Not super hot. It's hot. Still pepper tincture, guys. But if you're not in the hot stuff, probably ain't gonna like it. I did that because that makes too much noise, right? You guys, you guys don't want to listen to that. Anyway, my thought was to put some of this on this, so. Why not a little lime tincture on a lime ice cream bar? Ooh. Come on, somebody. That is pretty good. Little bit of a dessert, what we're having there. Hope everybody had a good day. Uh, mine was really good. Uh, I was busy. Like I said, if you guys caught the early video, took uh, Papa Grizz to the cardiologist. More tests, getting things squared away. It's on the men, guys. So I, like I said, I appreciate your thoughts, well wishes, karma, whatever, prayers, whatever you're into. Appreciate it. Still around. And he's going to be. 
least for the near future. He's getting old, you know, 76. But, you know, the end of the day, <clears throat> you know, we all looking, facing our mortality. While I'm eating this ice cream, I'm going to talk to you guys for a little bit, if you don't mind. Um, one thing I want to talk to you about is your mortality and your legacy. So, I don't always do stuff like this, but I'm going to do it tonight. Um, what happens when you go, what do you think? Got a little bit of tongue burn. That's been putting a lot on there. Hold on. So, legacy is what we leave behind. And mortality, we look at, you know, the end of our, our mortality, the end of our life. So, um, as it gets closer, you know, you start thinking about that. And, uh, by the way, this is really good. Thank you, Mike and Tammy. You guys are awesome. My lips are burning. Um, probably shouldn't be doing this much, Tink, but guess what? I am. Um, so, end of your life. You start evaluating, looking around, hoping that you've left a mark, positive influence on people. I know that's how I think. You know, the end, the end of uh, the end of my days, I'd like people to say uh, he's a nice guy, treated people with respect. I haven't always, but it's something I really try hard to do, especially now. And when you start getting older, your perspective changes on some things. I was soaking in there. When it's hot. When you put that much on it. Um, so, one of the things that happens, you know, we start reflecting. And um, I don't know whether you're a believer or not, but, you know, there's a verse in the Bible that says, uh, we want God to look at it at the end and say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Well, whether you're a believer or not, you want people to say that about you. Well done. He was a good person. He was kind. He was caring. Care about others. I'm not pushing religion on you guys. It's not what I'm here. I'm just telling you that's what the Bible says. That's good, Tink. It's really good on this. So we start looking at things in our life, figure out how we can um, change things or make an impact on on the world or even closer. So we all have a, we all have a sphere of influence, right? So our sphere of influence is the people that are around us daily, and maybe weekly. It could be coworkers. It could be somebody maybe you bowl, go shoot pool in a pool league or whatever. We're all in contact with people, right? So by being in contact with them, they're in our sphere of influence. So what do you do to influence that sphere. Are you bringing worth to it? Or are you taking away from it? Are you increasing people's life? Or are you diminishing it? Um, what does that look like? So for me, one of the things I wanna make sure that I do is try to make a positive influence on somebody. Um, be it help them through something they're struggling with. Um, maybe they need a helping hand. Maybe they need a word of encouragement. I don't know how many times just one word from somebody makes a huge difference. You know, people like to hear that they're doing good or they're a good person. So be an encourager. Sometimes people are right there. They just need a little bit of encouragement to take that next step in that season of their life. They could very well change their whole life and affect their whole family and others. So try to do that. Try to be an encourager. Be a positive influence in your sphere of influence. The people you come in contact daily with, 
uh, be it your, your neighbors, your coworkers, whatever that looks like. Treat people with respect, because that's how we're supposed to treat people. Hear me out. I know, oh, well, respect earned. I get it. And, and I'll always say you can't give what you don't have. If you have respect, you can give respect. I was raised that way. I'll give you respect until you give me a reason not to. So uh, I usually give you the benefit of the doubt off the, uh, until you change my opinion. And then, then if it's, um, I won't get caught up in the mess. And I'll just I'll walk away, you know. Um, doesn't mean I don't care. It just means that I don't need drama in my life. But I will help somebody that's trying to help themselves. So look at your sphere of people, the sphere of influence people in your life. Try to be positive. Positive influence on them. When you walk into a room... Is it better when you walk in or is it worse? Think about that. Think about the people that you've um, influenced already. Take some, uh, take an evaluation and look and see, have you done that? Have you helped people? Um, and if you haven't or haven't in a while, I would encourage you guys to do that. Try to be a positive influence and encourage her. Help somebody in need. It'll go a long way. I'm just saying. Um, the world has enough ugly in it. We don't need to add to it. If everyone tried to be a little bit more of a positive influence on others, the world wouldn't be in half the mess it's in. We still have evil people. We still have people with malicious intent. But at the end of the day, Random acts of kindness and um, helping one another and being a positive influence will start turning that around. But now people do that. Um, the darkness can't live in the light. Light, the darkness can't live where the light is. So be the light, be an encourager, be positive. Whether, like I said, whether you're a believer, doesn't matter. Um, be positive, be nice, be kind, because that's what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to be ugly. We're not supposed to be mean. Help people that are in need, especially ones that need help and are trying to help themselves. You know, there are people out there that it's hard to help them, but there's people out there that need, and I call it a hand up, not a hand out. They just need a hand up. They've had a rough patch, rough go at it. They might need an encouraging word. They might need an ear. They might just need somebody to listen to them. They might need your ear. They might need a pat on the back. They might need somebody to shake their hand. They might need somebody to tell them that I see you and you have value. You are important. You are needed. Your family needs you. I'm telling you, there's more and more people that if they heard that, suicide rates will go down. Drug addictions will go down. Alcoholism will go down. Just saying. I firmly believe that with every fiber in my being. Um, a lot of it, a lot of problems come from uh, self-worth. We feel like we're not worth anything. A lot of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So you guys think about that. Um, let somebody know they matter. Give them an encouraging word. Pat them on the back. Hey, buy the guys coffee. Call a friend, invite them to lunch. Or maybe say, hey, look, if you can't afford that, you know what? A cup of coffee at McDonald's, I don't even know what it costs anymore, but it's cheap, right? Meet somebody at McDonald's and have a cup of coffee with them. Just sit and talk to them for a little bit. I don't care if it's before your work, if you could do it in the middle of the day, if it's after work, whatever. Make time for somebody you haven't in a while. That's my piece of advice for tonight um, I thought I was just going to get on here but something I wanted to share 
Um, I will have a link in the description for this. Um, Mike and Tammy Gardner, Ink Gardner. This is really good tincture, very high quality, very professionally done. Uh, comes all sealed. I got a, a seal strip wrapped around it. Um, quality tincture by quality people. Be a link in that. Um, they're encouragers. They encouraged me, um, helping me on my journey. So guess what? That's what I'm talking about. Help somebody. It costs. You be honest. You can do a lot that doesn't cost anything. Kind words. So link in the description for this. I'll be back tomorrow. I got to eat some more pods. Those four today really lit me up. It was a fun time. Um, got a really good endorphin rush. When that video ended, I was good because I'd had the rush. It didn't climb anymore. I was done, but um, it was pretty wrecked, so it was fun. Um, so I'll be popping on eating some pods tomorrow. Um, taking care of boss dog. He's doing good. I'll give you guys a quick update. He's uh, moving around, doing good um, after surgery. Um, same with Papa Grizz, um, Lady Grizz. So Lady Grizz's dad is uh, improving, but slowly. So we're, we're doing good. You guys pray for Tommy Scoville. Uh, the lifeboat captain Tommy we love him and guess what we will see you guys tomorrow be nice to someone try to take my advice to heart think about it do a little bit of reflection use your brain think about it a little bit how can you change somebody's perspective or situation just by listening and being an encourager try that okay love every single one of you thanks for tuning in and as always stay spicy pepper people